Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is a nutrient that you can take in either orally or through some of our IV formulations. When we take it orally, there's a couple of things that are happening here. For one, the nutrient absorption of the vitamin C is somewhat decreased because there's a saturation point we reach at which you start to develop more loose stools and then uh, eventually diarrhea from having too high of a load orally. There's also some limitations as far as absorption is concerned with regard to uh, the fact that it has to actually go through the intestinal tract, get absorbed, pass this through the liver. And so that's automatically decreasing the total uh, load of the vitamin C before it's actually useful to you. The vitamin C itself is a good free radical scavenger. Uh, it'll help to decrease inflammation to some extent by scavenging some of your um, free radicals or oxidative uh, species that are going through the system. When we take it through an IV, we're bypassing the gut problem. So we're not inducing loose stools. Uh, we're bypassing at first, at least the liver, it'll go through the liver eventually, but we're bypassing some of the decrease in absorption we're getting from passing through the liver. And we're able to achieve much, much higher loads um, as, as a result. So vitamin C up to or below 25 grams is gonna be an antioxidant. Uh, it's going to be quite helpful for decreasing any kind of oxidative load on the system. Once we hit the 25 gram uh, mark and above, this is what's considered high dose vitamin C, and this starts to change into a more um, pro-inflammatory state. So this is more used for chronic infections, uh, cancer, things of that nature, because we're actually trying to increase the inflammatory load in the system to break up or destroy any kind of pathogens, whether it's viral, fungal, bacterial, or uh, cancer related in this case.